What's up, it's your girl, Tiny, and you're watching Bossup.com. Well, you know, see, that's what I didn't really prepare for. I just like, yo, put the song out, sell it, give the people what they asked me for for years, and just be that. But the song is doing so well, you know, that I might have to do more than what I really expected, you know. Hey, if I want to further it and make it bigger and bigger, I just might have to step out a little bit. I'm just not prepared yet. So I'm going to start working on that. Get ready so I can get myself together for a show. Maybe you and T.I. could do like the Jay-Z Beyonce thing and do Wouldn't that be T.I. Cute? and Tiny on tour. Oh, man. I don't know about that. We'll kill each other. Not just playing. Right, that would be cute. We're good. We're good. So you know, we I have a, uh, I have a uh, anniversary coming up. So looking forward to that. He better make some really special plans. I'm telling you, you need to you need to find him and tell him that girl. They actually have a song coming soon. Um, I did a um, remake on them from a Jagged Edge song. I don't know if you remember the song that I posted up that I love. Girl, it's over. And so I love that song so much. I said I got to redo this on my girls, and they killed it. It's really good. So I'm probably they'll be dropping some soon. French Kiss. French Kiss is like the members are all over the place, but I do have one loyal member that I love so much, and I plan on working with them. But they have to get we have to get the group together all the way. So it's not going to be the same members, but um, I plan on doing something with French Kiss. They're signed, two of them are signed to me, so. I got um, a new TV show coming with Shekana. Um, that's, you know, we're starting to film that on the 5th of August, and it's gonna be coming out really soon. You know, the second half of uh, Family Hustle is coming back. Um, and I'm also producing, co-producing um, the the Real Hair Stylist of Atlanta, and also um, the, Real Hair, the Real Celebrity Moms of Atlanta. Wow. So that's an interesting show. Rashida's mom. We uh, we have. Uh, you don't have Candy's uh, mom. Maybe, but <laughs> hey, that's my girl. Mama Joyce is your girl. Mama Joyce is my girl. She'll always be my girl. But you know, um, let's see who we have. We have um, K Camp's mom. We have. Um, my mom, it's a lot of moms, there's so many different moms. <laughs> well, I did, I mean, I had one who was really poor diamond in, you know, that's my girl, so I had called her and sat down with her. She was really, you know, you know, picky as she should be about her next move for what she wanted to do for her career. She wanted to be a bad look. So I, I sat down and I talked to her, we went and ate, and she was, she was comfortable, and so she ended up doing the show, I heard it's going really good. My tequila line will be out very, very soon. It is really, really good. It is geared to women. Once again, this is woman power. Dang, I love the men. I ain't, you know, have nothing against you. But you're going to want this to, for your ladies. You need this in your house. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need this. And te the tequila, why it's so good, and I say it's geared to the ladies because it tastes good. Like, I mean, men, by all means, I think, you know, they should drink it and they could drink it. But it has, it's not like a killer burn when it goes down your throat. And it has, uh, it's a flavored tequila. So, you know, the flavors, I think like lime tequila and the orange blossom tequila, it really work together. So I'm excited about that. And I just hope that, you know, I can't wait. The people that tested it, I tested it in New Orleans where I had the little soft lunch. It went well. Everybody loved it. And um, I think it's, you know, I think you guys will really like it if you like tequila. Well, no, not really, because I mean, I'm grown, I'm really an adult, and I mean, adults drink, and you have alcohol around kids, and restaurants, and so forth, and so forth, so my kids are not like, you know, where they are a shelter, and they're just like stuck in a box, and they don't know what's going on, to some degree, so I don't, I don't feel no kind of way about it, I just feel like I'm a grown woman, and getting into different ventures. And, and you know, people drink, and hey, I gotta go along with what's going on today. If it's not, you know, as long as I ain't killing nobody, I don't think I'm gonna kill nobody. With.